So this is the Nothing Phone 2. It's been officially announced today, and I was honestly a pretty big fan of the first phone from Nothing that came out last year, and the Phone 2 is quite an upgrade in my opinion. So starting at $599, you get one heck of a premium Android device that Honestly, it looks and feels like an iPhone still. Of course, if an iPhone was completely transparent and had these really cool glyph lights on the back. Now, the design of the Nothing Phone was what drew us all in. It looked familiar, yet totally new and futuristic with that glyph light system. And it was a really cool idea, but it honestly lacked a lot of functionality. But this year, I think it's actually getting a lot more useful. The Glyph system now gives users the ability to set an essential notification. And what that does is you've selected a certain contact or app and whenever a new notification arrives, this little light right here in the top right corner will illuminate and it'll be persistent. You can also compose your own glyphs and sounds with the Glyph Composer for custom ringtones. And the lights can be used for more functional day-to-day -day tasks like having a countdown for timers or seeing your battery indicator. And then the real kicker here is when this opens up to more third-party developers, which is actually slowly starting to happen already. There are a couple of apps on board, but I think something like, you know, you're waiting for your favorite rideshare service to come pick you up. You can actually see the distance, like how far away they are just by checking the light indicator on the back of your phone, which I think is pretty neat. The next major update happened to the camera. So we'll start with the front-facing camera, which has been bumped up from 16 megapixels to 32. Uh, and on the back, you can take photos at 4K60, along with a new 1080p action mode. And also, speaking of those sensors on the back, you now get a new Sony IMX890. There's now an 18-bit image signal processor that can process images and camera data up to 4,000 times more than before. And all of that said, I would just really love to hear from you. What do you think of some of the photos that I have been able to take so far using the Nothing Phone 2? Again, this isn't a full review or anything, but more of a first impressions after a few weeks of use. And honestly, I've been really enjoying the new larger 6.7 inch 2412 by 1080 OLED display. It has some pretty high peak pixel brightness of up to like 1600 nits. Uh, being outdoors, I think it's like up to a thousand peak brightness. And honestly, I think it's really, really good. It's an LTPO display, meaning it's just like an iPhone where you can refresh from one hertz all the way up to 120. And there's something about Android phones and 120 hertz that just feels way better, just much more buttery smooth effect. I don't know what's going on, but I just feel it way more. And this phone is no different. So you get this super nice vibrant display and you couple that with the premium hardware this year. Well, okay, it's premium, but the chip is a little bit older. It is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, but it's still a powerhouse and it's an absolute performance champ with nothing OS 2.0. And so nothing takes stock Android. Basically what you get with a Pixel phone and adds just a little bit of its own design language and aesthetic to it. There's no extra fluff to bog down the OS, no duplicated apps or anything like that, just a few small tweaks and you know more of a visual thing and more customization options that you can of course always turn off or tweak to have it to be exactly the way you like it. And so far, it's been a really good software and hardware experience. And speaking of that hardware, uh, I've touched on it a little bit here and there, but the last major improvement is obviously the design. Uh, there is a noticeable difference when you hold it and pick it up. This back glass is curved just ever so slightly, but it feels perfect in the hand compared to last year's Nothing Phone. And obviously, we made the jokes about how it looks and feels like an iPhone, and that's true. And it's got the same kind of squared off edges, but this year, this version was with that pillowed glass kind of just curving around your hand just a little bit, feels so much better, really premium in the hand, and I still love this transparent look. So with all of that said, what do you think of Nothing's second phone, the Nothing Phone 2? I genuinely think this is possibly one of the best Android phones that you can get right now, especially for the price. I don't think you're sacrificing much of anything. It's really hard to beat. I mean, it starts at 599, you get eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, or you can get this model that I have here, which is 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage for an extra 100 bucks. So that'll make you uh, top out at like 699. And then there's one that's priced at 799, which gives you 512 gigs of storage. And oh, by the way, I didn't even get a chance to mention the 4,700 milliamp hour battery, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it is. And it's really impressive given, look at, there's the notification light, by the way. It's persistent. It's tied in with my messages app and certain people. And so I know that I've got a notification from somebody. And I really, really like this whole vibe from the new notification glyph system that's going on here. And again, 
I really like the phone. So would love to hear from you in the comments down below. This has been Down With Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.